coming. summoned the representative of the Canadian High Commission yesterday. It was conveyed in the note that the government of India protests in the strongest terms to the absurd and baseless references made to the Union Home Minister of India before the committee by Deputy Minister David Morrison. Canada is a country rooted in the rule of law, and the protection of our citizens is paramount. That's why, when our law enforcement and intelligence officials began pursuing credible allegations that agents of the Government of India were directly involved in the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar, on Canadian soil, we responded. In fact, the revelation that high Canadian officials deliberately leak unfounded insinuations to the international media as part of a conscious strategy to discredit India and influence other nations only confirms the view Government of India has long held about current Canadian government's political agenda and behavioral pattern. Such irresponsible actions will have serious consequences for bilateral ties. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. 
U.S. election explained every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.